I'd like to share this idea with you. It's kind of crazy, but I believe that Toy Story is actually a slave narrative. Let me explain. There's three ways that Toy Story, the Pixar movie, reflects the experience of African descendants of slaves in this country. The first being that we are figments of the imagination of the American culture. In the movie Toy Story, the toys participate in the fantasies of their child, Andy. They are heroes, villains, monsters, and damsels in distress. African Americans in this culture take on similar roles. We are depicted as heroes. We are depicted as thugs and monsters. Our women are over-sexualized, damsels, always in distress. But these aren't reflections of who we really are. They're really figments of the imagination. It's like Ralph Ellison said, I am invisible, understand? Simply because people refuse to see me. Like the bodiless heads you see sometimes in circus sideshows. It is as though I have been surrounded by mirrors of hard, distorting glass. When they approach me, they see only my surroundings themselves or figments of their imagination. Indeed, everything and anything except me. Which brings me to my second point. We conceal our true selves. In the movie Toy Story, when Andy is done playing with his toys and leaves them laying on the ground, he believes that they are lifeless things, unanimated beings, when in reality, they're alive. The T-Rex isn't a monster at all. He suffers from anxiety. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head are a real married couple. And Bo Peep is not a damsel in distress. In fact, by the time you get to Toy Story 4, she's a freedom fighter, a lot like Harriet Tubman liberating toys from the servitude of children. She chose to live freely outside of the imagination of boys and girls. She comes to the same conclusion Ralph Ellison does, that when we discover who we are, we become free. My third and final point, when we experience overt oppression, we don't reveal our true selves, we reveal our worst selves, our most violent selves. In the movie Toy Story, there's only one time the toys reveal themselves. That's when they reveal themselves to Andy's next door neighbor, Sid. Now Sid is this vicious, evil child that mutilates toys, blows them up with fireworks, dismembers them and puts them back together in these crazy ways. And under this oppression, the toys decide to reveal themselves much to the horror of Sid. But even this revelation is a performance. It's a disguise. They come out as zombies raising from the mud. Woody turns his head around as if he's some type of possessed demon. African-Americans respond to overt oppression in similar ways. Consider slave revolts of Nat Turner and Toussaint L'Overture, or modern day acts of civil unrest. But these are all just performances. These do not reveal who we truly are. Dr. Martin Luther King says, the riot is the language of the unheard. And in this case, it is the language of the unseen. Ralph Ellison goes on to say, no, I am not a spook like those who haunted Edgar Allan Poe, nor am I one of your Hollywood movie ectoplasms. I am a man of substance, of flesh and bone, fiber and liquids. And I might even be said to possess a mind. I am invisible simply because people refuse to see me. Um, in closing, I offer this bit of homework to, of course, pick up a copy of Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man. And if you ever get a chance, find a copy of the 80s movie, The Toy.
starring Richard Pryor and Jackie Gleason. In this movie, Richard Pryor plays an out of work newspaper reporter who is literally purchased to be the toy of a millionaire's spoiled son. <laughs> 